너보다 빛이 나는 건 없어 yeah. 지금 헤매고 있어 길을 잃어버린 나이처럼 Yo, welcome back. Another K-pop lyrics breakdown. This is Monster X's Shine Forever. Um, thank you for requesting it. I forgot the user's name, but that's all good. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, I'm glad you requested this song because it's super easy. It's going to be fast. Okay, Niga. Okay, so uh, Niga means you. Ne means um, my. Yop means side. So my side. So when you are by my side, okay, Eh, eh means like location, right? Eh. And iso means is. So you exist, right? So when you are by my side, when you exist by my side. Niga neope iso. When you are by my side. No, it's another word for you. Okay. Poda. Now, poda usually means to look, right? But actually, there's many different meanings <laughs> depending on how you use it. But here, no boda, uh, it means more than you. Okay. Better than, like, uh, even more than you, better than you, whatever adjective they're going to use. Bigger than you, stronger than you. Just E-R than you, right? E-R. Like bigger, more, right? Um, what is more than you? Bichi nanun go. So bichi nada means to shine. And when you add nungon, sometimes it's just ungon, right? Without this neon here. Um, uh, it means uh, a thing, an object. So bichi nanun gon. A shiny thing. So, a shinier thing than you. No boda. Right? More than you, right? Remember we said more than you? No boda. No boda bichi nanungo. A shinier thing than you? Opso. Does not exist. Opsoyo. Right? It's the opposite of iso. Okay? So, when you're by my side, there's nothing shinier than you. That's what this, these two phrases mean. And here is, yeah. No meaning. Just means yeah. Tigum means now. Uh, heme, heme da means to wander. Um, and go isoyo, mean, or go ita is the infinitive form. When you add that to a verb, it means like ing in English. It means do, like, it's happening right now. So right now, I am wandering. Chigum heme go, heme go iso. Okay. Um, right, mokko isoyo means eating. So heme go isoyo means uh, wandering. So right now, I'm wandering. And kiru iro porin. So this whole phrase means I'm like a lost child. So which word means like? Choro means like. Okay? Because um, in English we'd say we we put this kind of the opposite. This phrase would be over here. Right? Choro. Um, Choro means like or similar to. Like what? Like a child. Child is ai. You might hear ai for baby too. Ai choro. So like a baby. Um, and then what is this? Is? This is a phrase that describes the baby. What kind of baby or what kind of child? Uh, a child who is lost. So like a lost child. Kir is like road and iro borida means to loss. Iro borida. So why is there a ni in there? Why is it not iro bori ayin chorom? Well, iro borin uh, this ni over here sometimes is just a nun. Just like this one right here. It means it describes um, a future noun. So it, in this case it'd be the child. So, a lost child. Kiru iru porin ai. That's what that means. And then choro means like. So, kiru iru porin ai choro means like a lost child. Right now, I'm wandering like a lost child. Okay? Let's keep moving on. One and only, like a holly. I'm fascinated by the bright light of your beauty. Okay, so this is going to be a little harder to translate. Um, but not too bad. Otu uh, otton. So let's work with otupta first. Right? O tupta means dark, right? O tupta means dark. But when you conjugate anything that ends with a p up, you take away the da, of course, like any verb or adjective. And then you take away the p up and you add wo. That's why it's odu wo. Odu wo yo means dark. But otu otton, when you see like sang shiut after an adjective uh, or a noun, uh, sorry, or a verb, um, and you add don, don just means past tense. So what was dark? It was something that was in the past. What was dark in the past? Nal, nal means day. And de means days. It's like an S, adding an S, right? Sanam is, uh, so let's just use an example we had. Ai is child. Ai de means children, many children, right? So um, those dark days in the past, 
M is the location particle, so inside those dark days in the past. 이제 means now, similar to 지금, right? 너를, 너 is you, and this is direct object to do. 대입해, so I will take you into those dark days in the past. 어두웠던 날들에 이제 너를 대입해. So the dark days inside, now I will bring you in. I'll bring you into my dark days in the past. Why? So that now, so I, na means I, right? This is just direct object, real. Ontong means completely, and barkta means bright. But if you add ge after an adjective, it makes it an adverb. So ontong barke means brightly. So completely brightly, muro duro jo hayake. So let's just learn muro that means muro that means to dye something. Um, like the, you know, with color. So when you conjugate it, muduroyo. Why is there a draw here? When you add draw after a verb, it means do it for me. For me. So hejoyo means do it for me. Mogojoyo means eat it for me, right? So muduroyo means um, color me for me. <laughs> what color? Completely bright and white. So I'm taking you into dark nights uh, or my my dark days. Um, so please. Uh, make me completely bright and white. Okay, let's keep going on. Okay, so this is simple. You're beautiful means you're beautiful. To means more. Bitina. Bitina means shine. Okay, and um, there's lots of different ways to say shine in Korean. Bitina uh, is one of them. Okay, so you're so beautiful, shine more. Do means more, right? Noru, so you. Kesok means continue. Porsu ike, so let's break it down. Poda means to to see. Okay. Rusu isoyo, if you add it after a verb, it means um, can, like the ability to, so I can see, right? So for example, hausu isoyo means I can do it, right? So porsu isoyo means I can see it. So I can, so I can continue to see you. Kesok means continue, right? Um, but what's this ge here? This one doesn't mean make it into an adjective like the other one. This ge means in order to, so that I can. So this whole phrase means uh, so that I can see you, in order to continue seeing you. So you're beautiful, please shine more so that I can see you. Okay? 너를 계속 볼수 있게. 한번 means one time. 으로 means like, um, like just kind of, 으로 means, um, there's different meanings for it, but in this case it just means uh through one more time, okay? Through one time, manjok, it means satisfied. And mote, mote means not, it's like negative. When you see mote after a verb or adjective, it just means the negative of it. Um, so hanbonero, manjok mote means I'm not satisfied with just once, one more time. So please, tashi, tashi is again or one more time. Uta means smile, right? Usoyo. And jo, I told you before, jo means for me, so. One more time, smile for me, just like that. 그렇게. 다시 웃어줘, 그렇게. So again, smile for me, just like that. All right, let's continue on. Okay, so let's finish this before I go to the chorus, which is also very easy. Two means two. Um, 팔 means uh, arms. I don't know why I put hands here. Hand is son. So it should be arms. Sorry. Um, 보리다, 볼, it's different from what we learned from 잃어버리다. This is 볼리다, which means to open. So 보려. So open both your arms. 내게로 means towards me, right? 내게 is me. And 로, uh, remember we just learned with 한 번으로, it's like through that time, through that, through one more time. This one means like through me, so it means like towards me. Negero waso means come to me. Okay? Um, and if you've been studying a bit, so has many different meanings. In this sentence, it just kind of means like and. Waso. And hug. Ango. Hug or hold. It doesn't necessarily translate to hug, it could be like hold. So open both your arms and come towards me to hug. Oops, sorry about that. Okay? Kok ango. So I put must, but actually. A better translation is tight. Tightly. 
kok an gyo. So tightly hug. Ne is my, pum is like my chest, my breast area. Uh, an means like inside, and e is location particle. So inside my chest area. Ne pum an e an gyo. Again, hug. Pin means empty, kongan means space. E is location particle again. So inside this empty space. Um, no means you. This little is direct object particle. You chewo dugo shipoyo. So chewo a chewuda means to uh, fill, fill in the emptiness, fill in something, right? Fill in like a bottle of water. Chewuda. Um, chewo duda. When you add do has different meanings, but like when you add do after a verb, you see sometimes it just means to like do it and leave it there. Okay, so pin uh, konkane. No teo du go shipo. Oh, sorry, I didn't explain this. When you add go shipo, it means I want to. So you, have you all heard of pogo shipoyo? It means um, I want to see you. So teo du go shipoyo means I want to fill you. I want to use you to fill. To fill what? Fill in the empty space. Pin kong kane. So I want to fill the empty space with you. And nega noru bichulke. So nega means I. And no is you, this is direct object particle, uh, I will shine for you. Bichuda uh, is shine. And when you see ryu and ge together, it just means future, future tense. Hakkeo means I will do it. Hakke. Bichuke means I will shine. Okay. Nega noru bichuke. I will shine for you. Okay, um, chukta. Chukta usually means uh, by itself, it means like pick up, but in this sentence, it kind of means um, to look around. And when you conjugate it, remember, take away the P up at a wall. Juo. Juo. Wu. Pa. So, what does the pa mean? Well, the ryu, uh, when you see ryu, often it means um, future tense. Pa, uh, when you, it means see, okay? But when you put pa in front of a verb, it means to try to do it. For example, mokta means to eat. Mogoba means to try and eat. So look, so juoba means try to look around. And then here we go, sorry. Try to look around. Niga, you, beat nadana. So beat nada is another word for shine. And zana means like, you know, right? Don't you know? So this whole thing is like, uh, try to look around. Don't you know you're shining? Or you're shining, right? You know? Okay. Okay, so I think I spelled this wrong. It's forever no, forever now. But he's saying, <laughs> the way he says it, like forever no. Um, that's kind of strange. But anyways, nega is I, no is you. And pichuda means shine. And yu il hada, yu il hada means um, only one. And this nian means, um, remember, it makes this an adjective and describe spotlight. So the only spotlight. So I will shine only for you. Only for you. Nor bitunun. Sorry. That's just messy. But um, only spotlight for you. Nor. Okay. Um, I shine for you the only spotlight. Okay. Nega nor bitunun yu ilhan spotlight. Niga is you it it nun me sungan. So um itta means like exists, right? And this nian means it's describing this. So you are in what? Every instant. Me is every sungan is like moment or instant. So every moment or instant that you exist is a highlight. Highlight. Niga it nun me sungani highlight. Shine forever, forever, now. Maybe it's forever, no. I don't know. Um, non is you and negero towards me. So you come towards me. Yeah. All right. So we're done here with the song. Thank you very much for requesting. Um, I hope most of it made sense. But actually, it's quite a simple song. And uh, there are quite a few uh, easy lessons to be learned here. So keep listening to it on replay and think of the meanings that I've explained in this video. Peace, see you next time.